language model. Descriptors, large. The language. descriptors. Yeah, yeah. Defining cheese. Oh, no, but beyond the layer of cheese, I'd gone to, um, was it game level? Oh, yes, okay, Doom. Yeah, Doom. 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 Ah, okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. And we were down to timelines and where it's got yeah. persistence of knowledge over three seconds and you get up to 60 mm-hmm. seconds. Mm-hmm. Here, another way of looking at that, though, is actually persistent knowledge of the world. Yeah. Right? So it doesn't need to have three seconds. It can understand that, like, Doom is on Mars and, and like, all these kind of, you know, a demon gate has been opened. And, and, and you know, like you could start to structure a worldview. Green snakes on the on the run. Yeah, you can, you can structure a whole worldview yeah. for it to operate within. And then it doesn't need to have like 60 seconds of knowledge of that. It has, that's a, it's a constant in the game. Basically you make constants. Mm. Um, and, and, the, and, and instead anchors. of constants, you anchors. Call instead of like anchors, simply, yeah. you know, ammo equals 20 is a constant. You know, well, that's a weird constant to have actually. So, you know, you know, gun the, one the, equals, the bearers gun one equals BFG. Yeah, you know, gun we one equals BFG. When that's an anchor. A, when exactly. A, exactly, there's an anchor. And so <laughs> we can actually define, instead of like trying to make the, the thing just watch Doom, you can mm. put these anchors in, these re- anchors in reality that underpin the structure and create that outcome that you yep. want. That then you can have it playing with persistence of small amounts of data that it can know the whole, like it can pl- track the variables off, you know, right? And, and at any point, like you can always fix the thing. Like you, you decide that like the, the, the good character, the good guy has a blue shirt and the whatever. And, you know, you find the one with the blue shirt and that, and then you get it to iterate from that point on. <laughs> And it just makes the mm. perfect blue shirted fucking white shirt, whatever guy. Like it just, and that's the constant thing. And it has all of the variants of that. But, but, the anchor. Mm. but creating those anchors. And, uh, and then, yeah, and Doom, for example, would be quite an easy game. So you've got like, say, 10 types of enemies. You know, you just make full anchors of them. You anchor those. You know, they're always consistent. And, yep. you know, yep. talk about the nature of the environment. You get, true. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. The yeah. Doom games you play, the, the, you know, the enemy's always going to behave in a certain yeah, way. Yeah. yeah. Always going to react in a certain way. It's always, mm. it's predictable, you know, if you know the game. And it looks like a certain thing. You know, they're sort of like, this is interesting because it plays into this, this like long-term thinking I've had around like this universal game mod, like but this game sort of <laughs> en- engine, yeah. but it's down to the individual. The ishikai that we all live in. <laughs> it's down to this single unit. It's this data unit, which expresses a point in space effectively. Yeah. You know, and that point in space could be a player, whatever it is. And, and it could be hmm. represented by many. And the, and the human observation and is the what, interference that happens and solidifies. And if you look at it, yeah. yeah. And in a simple way, you could look at it like as a, um, in a basic sort of player shooter, shooter game, is that maybe the entire player is represented by one hit box. Like, a, like a, it's either hit or not hit, hmm. you know, and, and then it could be. Either affected or not affected. Affected right? or not affected. Yeah. And then it's like a head and a, a torso and a, you know, it's like three hit boxes and then it's six hit boxes yeah. and then it can be affected by poison and this and like shot in the arm and like, and you just keep increasing the resolution of like all of the potential instances of whatever it is that can happen. Interaction. Interaction, yeah. interaction yeah. basically. Yeah. And the yeah. definers of that interaction could be like a table and the table has hit, like either, it doesn't have hit posi- A positive action or a, a negative action. Yeah, right? it has basically a, set, a, a table of data that can API with another table of data that's sort of like... <laughs> So me, my sword either in my hand. Either takes away, gives, takes or away or gives, equivalent, you know, yeah, yeah. equivalent exchange it's where you know, both parties happens. benefit. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. There's some kind of data exchange that happens between the two blocks of data. And that's the game engine, you know. And mm-hmm. and that that is the player character, the ground, the weapon. Like, And whether the weapon's one block or it represented by 10,000 blocks, it doesn't matter, you know, in super detail. And, you know, like it's, it's yeah, but it's like. Yeah. Uppercuts to God. 